If I were made of glass, would you peer through my skin? Could you show me the chaotic mosaic within? Are you afraid of circumstances you don't understand? And that's why you hesitate to look at the glass. The glass I've erected so you can stare straight through me. If I were made of glass, would you peer through my skin? Okay, all right. Uh, welcome everybody, glad to see you again. Um, today, we're gonna start in just a second. Today we're gonna be discussing a really sensitive topic. So for those of you who are just here to listen, um, whatever happens in Poetry Club stays here with us. Some of you are gonna share some really deeply personal, intimate details. The topic for today is actually betrayal in whatever capacity you want to share. All right, so if anybody wants to go first, the chair is yours. Anybody, any volunteer? I can go first. Okay, great. Yeah, that is this. <laughs> Happiness is when you get a new puppy. Happiness is an amazing feeling. Happiness is when you smile all day. Happiness is making our own decisions. It's being proud of who you are. Happiness is when you go on a first date. Happiness is giving someone a hug just because you can. Happiness is falling in love. It's the light in your eyes. It's what makes this world go round. Happiness was a trust I gave you. But I'm not happy. Happiness is bliss, but I know too much. Happiness is glowing, but you left me in the dark. Happiness is when you smile all day, but your memory is the fear I wear through the night. Happiness is falling in love, and sadness is when you fall out of it. Well done, thank you for sharing. Anybody else want to take the floor? I'll go. Okay, yeah. okay. The halls were a battleground with walls that echoed the arrows they spoke threatening to tear into my skin. The classrooms were the ceasefire. The wounds could heal and I felt safe. I felt safe. I felt safe until he walked in, ripping the bandages from open wounds, leaving me bleeding, leaving me broken. He took a knife and stabbed me himself and I had no way to escape. Et tu, Brute? The bell does not dismiss me, nor the words he used to beat me down. A teacher. He certainly was a teacher. The lesson plan was a gossip about my life and the fact that my parents pleading would offer me no relief. He did me wrong, but it was you who betrayed me. You held the power and knew my position. You were my ally from second grade. Yet now as a principal, you did nothing. And so I'm gone. The damage is done. The battle is over, but the war has only begun. My mind is now the battleground. Any other takers? I want you guys to feel comfortable to share whatever it is you came in here with. The saddest part about betrayal is that it doesn't come from your enemies. It comes from the people closest to you, the people you trust, the people you love, the people you let down your brick walls and become completely vulnerable for. But betrayal also comes from the people who don't care, from the people who don't belong in our life, the toxic people trying to poison our lives because theirs is poisoned enough. I have learned this over several occasions. Betrayal is the boy who tells you he loves you and tells another girl the same thing the next day. Betrayal is your best friend telling everyone your secrets, but only the bad ones. Betrayal is your liga snapping halfway through the day or not giving your girl a pad when you know you have one. 
betrayal is abusing someone's trust for your own benefit. But we all know that, right? flesh descending, a coffin signaling and ending brings me new beginnings. Agelessness, consciousness, but no grasp on reality. The reality dawning on me, this is the sum of my years. And you're not here. Passing to the dirty dead, tasting all the blood I've bled, you refuse to even see my head for the last time, for the final time. My soul will never die, but always stare into eyes deprived of life in their prime and left melancholy to wander over a newly untouchable world. With this, all that's left to show, this body now a hollow meal for decomposition. My soul will never die, but remain an apparition, haunting, angrily wanting more than what I left behind, more than my weak spine, a chance to rewind retribution for a life spent in destitution. No solace can't touch the concrete, and don't feel the gray stones sitting under my feet. My soul will never die. And the winters wear heavily on the weakened, withered heart breaking apart inside of me. And where are you? In these, my most trying of all days, where are you? As my corpse, with the worms, decays. Passing to the dirty dead, tasting all the blood I've bled. My soul will never die, although my heart is long dead. Yeah. Can I, can I say something? Of course. We put so much trust in people. We put so much trust in them, but trust is just, it's glass that shatters as soon as you give it away. Because words, they hurt. And they break us apart, but we have to, we have to use them to be able to, to build others up. You know, and then whenever we need them, words are, like right now, they're the glue that pieces our lives back together, and then we become whole again. Um, I have another poem with me I'd like to share, if that's all right. Yes, of course, stay sure. Okay. If I were made of glass, would you peer through my skin? Could you show me the chaotic mosaic within? Are you afraid of circumstances you don't understand? And that's why you hesitate to look at the glass. The glass I've erected so you can stare straight through me. If I were made of glass, would you peer through my skin? Yeah. 